Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, Microsoft is looking at the possibility of changing something in what is, of course, the uh, widgets. Now, when you go on the widgets um, icon on the bottom left and bring up the widgets, what happens is that this shows up using Microsoft Edge. And Microsoft knows that some users are not using Edge or have uninstalled Edge altogether, which means that the widgets aren't working or might not be working. So they have been working on the widgets that would appear on any browser, meaning this widgets panel would still work and it could use Chrome or any browser you're using instead of just Edge. Now, the reason why they are also doing this is that in the European Union, because Microsoft Edge can be uninstalled, it also means that some features on Windows might stop working. So they, of course, are thinking, well, what about we let the widgets panel um, work with any browser. That would mean that the European Union, if users remove the widget, not the widget, but the, the browser, the Edge browser, uh, well, it, widgets will still be there because they'll work with Chrome. So that's also a kind of a sneaky way of saying, well, you know, that's kind of a neat way of still having our widgets panel, which I don't know about you. I don't use. Um, I keep it on only for one thing. And even that, I'm starting to get a little um, annoyed because what I want is the weather. But it starts giving me tons of things that I don't care about. And I'm starting to get a little annoyed at that. So I'm soon to be like, you know, maybe I should just download some, you know, weather widget from some website and just deal with it but uh, anyways it seems that microsoft is working on that maybe for 25h2 if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching